test with Minecraft Map Center, bringing you episode two of the Minecraft Map Minute. So we got two map spotlights to get through today, so let's go ahead and dig right in. All right, first up tonight we got Paradox by Tom DM134. Now this is a adventure map. Uh, it's a pure adventure, as in uh, played on peaceful with uh, no block breaking, or well limited. They allow you to break some blocks, but uh, you know it's it's more about the narrative and the story than uh, combat or breaking place of bosses. Well, blocks, this blocks. <laughs> Uh, so this story, it's it's about a time traveler. You, you're a time traveler in uh, uh, some kind of outcast uh, deal. I don't want to spoil it, so I'll just try to stay vague. Uh, but the narrative I felt was was pretty interesting. It was it's all um, first person with a few notes, but for the most part, you go through the map. And, uh, and the map kind of gives you those thoughts, like the internal monologue, that's what they actually call it, that's what it is. Um, but uh, probably the coolest thing I thought about this was that it, uh, you go through these portals, um, and in the video you can see there's a few points you'll see very quickly. I flash through rooms with lots of purple wool. And those are portal rooms, and what that is, 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 it, is that you actually go through a few different um, time zones, or no, time, eras, ages, uh, so I believe this one's the Iron Age we're looking at right here. Um, it, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, all in all, it's, it's a short map, um, not much in the way of um, puzzles or jumping stuff, which especially the jumping stuff was was a relief for me because if you watch the first episode there you know I, I'm absolutely can't do it so um, so yeah I'd say probably around uh, an hour if you went straight through um, maybe a little less maybe a little more depending on your play style uh, pretty cool like I said I like the narrative uh, it's it's kind of a basic cut and dry sort of a map but I mean that's not necessarily a bad thing if you just if you're looking for something to sit down with and have some fun and let's uh, you know see a cool story unfold around you then you, know, you might like this uh, I do want to mention though that you got to be a little careful um, at times there was a couple times in the map where I wasn't exactly sure where I was going and I fell into a pit um, you know, uh, so stuff like that. You kind of want to just make sure you're you're paying attention to what's going on around, and you should enjoy yourself. Go check them out. All the information's in the description. All right, let's look at the next map. All right, so next up is the Escape by Dizzy Eight Hundred. Now this is a platforming puzzle escape map with Metroid-like elements. Uh, your character has been abducted by an evil doctor and you have been placed in his trap testing facility. And it is your job to escape and to take revenge if you can. Uh, the map is all about redstone and, uh, and, and creating puzzles, uh, platforming situations, and whatnot uh, based on redstone and piston creations. It, uh, it definitely is going to take a bit of skill, though I don't think anything in the map they're asking too much of, of you for. As in, I don't think any of this is uh, pull your hair out, you know, intensive. Uh, and also, I would like to note that even if you do not like to play these kinds of maps, I would uh, suggest if you are a map maker just to download this thing and check it out just to look at the mechanics of it because you, you might find some interesting uh, you know stuff in there that you can uh, learn from. I did. So yeah, I would definitely suggest that. Uh, 
the map itself, uh, another sh relatively short map, probably take you about, uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes to get through. Um, if you're quick, or it could take longer if you let it, it's up to you. Um, but, all right, yeah, let me touch on the Metroid-like aspects. In the map, there is two different types of block that you can destroy, but you have to acquire the the appropriate tool, and the, the game will tell you. Like here, you can see I have the shovel, and I, uh, I, I attain that shovel, and there's a sign there that says, hey, now I can break stuff. And then once you get those tools, you can go back through and open up things that you couldn't before, and, and get some items that you couldn't get before, and get to places that you couldn't get to before. And with those items, you can exact your revenge, uh, which is basically you blow the crud up out of this guy's place. And it's pretty cool. All right, so that's it for the maps. I am going to do a little wrap up here for the show. Uh, but I think actually I'm going to show you guys the destruction that happens here. <sighs> I probably shouldn't, but I did. All right, so hey, information in the description. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the second episode of the Minecraft Map Minute over here at Minecraft Map Center. Uh, I would like to say that, uh, you know, I only got two map submissions in this week, and that's why there's only two maps up here. Uh, I am aware that I could very well go ahead and uh, look for them myself, but as this is a community show, and I stated pretty clearly in the, in the introduction that, you know, it's about you guys, it's for you guys, and if you guys want to have this kind of thing, then, hey, you know, I'm going to need some help from you. And, uh, and that's true, so uh, I don't want to sound like I'm whining or anything, and I, I definitely enjoy putting these things together, but you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's already, like, it's an eight-hour deal for me, pretty much, from start to finish with the editing and, and the playing and everything, and I love doing it, and I want to do it for you guys, but I also, I, it, it would, feels good to me to have interest in what I'm doing, and uh, it's easy to show that. All you gotta do is sub submit some maps uh, or even some tutorials. I wanna get some other stuff. I wanna be able to showcase more people's stuff, get more information around there. I mean, hey guys, this is free publicity for your maps. If it gets big, it gets big. That's great. It'll be even more publicity for your maps down the line. Who knows? But hey, it's about you guys, and uh, I don't mind doing it. I love doing it. Uh, I just wanna, you know. I want to feel like uh, like you guys want me to, I guess. So, I will be back next week. Um, actually, next Monday, it's going to be a little funky. Um, it's Christmas and all. Uh, so, I may need you guys to get your submissions in as early as possible this week. Because I will probably end up recording on Thursday for next week's show. So hey, uh, thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoyed your time here at the Minecraft Map Center, and uh, I will see you next week.